Alright, I need to tell y'all about this bar I went to the other day. It's one of those fancy craft beer bars. I ain't had such a good time. All the story. Alright, now this particular bar has had a lie in front of it forever. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to figure out what all the hustle bustle is about. And I'm going to go in this bar and get me a Bud Light. Now that's what I thought. Now the second I walked into this bar, there was bearded men everywhere. Not regular bearded men. Fancy bearded men. Men that use like beard oil. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Look at them. Now you got a feel for the atmosphere. I mean, there was one guy in there eating ramen out of his beard. You don't believe me? Look at that picture. Told you so. Anyways, I go straight to the bar and I said, Hey, let me get a Bud Light. And all you hear is the rustling of beards as every head in the bar turns towards me in shock and amazement. And I'm just like, hey, what's the big deal here? The bartender says, we don't serve Bud Light. I was like, well, goddamn, this is America, ain't it? He said, yeah, but we only serve craft beers. I was like, fuck, what's that mean? This is a craft beer. Pretty sure it says craft on here somewhere. Maybe not. But it's a good beer, and that's what I want. Well, I had a couple of gentlemen approach me. And this is when the story gets interesting. Now, these two gentlemen approached me, and they called me all kinds of things. I'll inform you on what they was. A hillbilly. An Android phone user. A normal guy. One of the men even said, I can't turn on his MacBook. I said, what the fuck is a MacBook? Is this something you order chicken McNuggets out of? Another one handed me his gay little phone, his iPhone. He said, hey, see if you can unlock my screen. It's got a fingerprint detector on it. Hell, one of them come up to me and called me a pussy. I stepped back and said, whoa now. I don't know if you know this, but I think you just paid me a compliment. Because a pussy's the only thing I know I can bleed for seven days and not die. They all stepped back, grabbed all their beers and looked at me like, wow, this guy might be making some sense. But we still ain't going to serve no damn Bud Light. Well, that's alright with me. I want to drink a Bud Light in that place anyways. I'd rather just sit here in my chair with my two American flags and my eagles on top just screaming freedom at the top of their lungs. Because Bud Light's American. So am I. Y'all can keep them fancy beers that I can't pronounce their names of. I'll drink my Bud Light, I don't care. But make sure every one of y'all watch out for this guy. I'm going to put his picture up at the end of the video. He's the fanciest one of them all. God bless America. Bud Light.